updates weather on the eights with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Feels more like a summer morning than early fall. Here's a live look right now over the wet streets of Hershey, where temperatures are sitting in the upper 60s. Currently is 69 degrees in Chocolate City. The dew points now sitting in the upper 60s, so we're not cooling off. You notice the winds right now out of the southeast city. That's actually one of the lower spots. We have some steady uh, winds across the area as high as 15 to 20 miles per hour. Out on Super Doppler 8 Live Radar, just light and spotty across the area, but notice the rain coming in from the west back toward Bedford and just outside of Chambersburg. That rain is going to pick up through the mid-morning, and it's going to come down for a couple of hours. Here's a look at the timing of the heaviest showers. We're mainly talking about 10 o'clock to 6 p.m. for areas along and west of the Susquehanna River. Areas east of Susquehanna River will see the heaviest rain between 11 o'clock and 8 o'clock this evening. Concerning the threat for some embedded stronger thunderstorms within that heavy rain. We're talking some heavy rain and some gusty winds. I'm also not ruling up a spin up brief, a long, or brief uh, tornado that touches down. Chances for that are very, very low. Something we'll keep a very close eye on. Here's a look at the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Right now we're near 70 degrees. We're only going to climb a few more degrees today thanks to that widespread heavy rainfall. Then as the cold front moves on through, that will drop us into the upper 50s overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, I expect mostly cloudy skies. Some peaks of sunshine will be out. Out there, but we'll also have the threat for a few scattered showers with temperatures uh, it's just slowly climbing into the 60s. Outside right now, we're at 70 degrees in Levin and 71 in Lancaster, also 70 degrees if you're starting your day with us in Gettysburg. But look at these winds anywhere from 8 to right now in Chambersburg out of the southeast at 18 miles per hour. Again, wind gusts could be as high as 30 to 35 as the rain starts to move on in and become a bit more intense. So you can see uh, off in western Pennsylvania, steadier to moderate heavy rainfall, also some stronger thunderstorms right now in northern. Portions of Virginia. That's what's moving to the east and will be with us over the next couple of hours. That cold front is right now in the middle of that rain, and it's not until the cold front clears and pushes to our east when the rainfall will start to taper off. So let's break down the timing here for you on the predictor. You can see as we head on in through the lunch hour, the rainfall will become a bit more widespread and intense. This will continue through the evening drive, and then by the time we get closer to midnight, that's when I expect the showers to be off to our east. Upper level energy will continue to spin around the back side of this storm system, so we'll continue to have the chance for a few scattered showers heading on into Thursday, even though Temperatures are expected to climb back up into the upper 60s. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything heading on into tomorrow. Some sun, some clouds, and also the chance of rain. Concerning the rainfall threat today, widespread rainfall totals are going to be close to an inch. A few isolated spots may see more than that. You can see the case up towards Sealands Grove, possibly up to two inches in some isolated spots. So that's why we're also concerned about on the low end threat of seeing some ponding on some roadways in those isolated heavier bands. We drop to the 50s after the rain moves on out. Could see a few isolated showers on into Thursday. Day. Best day of the week looks to be Friday. Highs in the upper 60s, and then we start to cool down. Temperatures down into the mid 60s for Saturday with breezy conditions. Only in the 50s for Sunday. Wow. All I right. How many more times we'll see 70s this year? I don't know. We usually see uh, one or two more warm, warm periods, and then we start to cool down. There you go. Head into Indian summer, right? Right. right. Isn't that right. we right. see? <laughs> All right. Hey, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you.